Brethren, praise the Lord. Another episode. Joseph is the man that we last talked about. And I share with you something more about the young man. And who has lessons for the young people. Joseph who has the lessons for the middle adults. And Joseph has lessons for the real adults, the aged. And I come again to share about Joseph, the young man who gives a lot of lessons for us as believers in our generation. Joseph was a young man. Joseph rose the ladders and because he trusted God. And because we also trust God, we believe that actually God can do something bigger, wider, and greater. So let us pray and give thanks to God. Father God, we thank you for this time that you are giving us again to think about the life of the young man, Joseph. We pray, God, that you bless us, that the lessons that we pick from here will continue for your ministry, even during our generation. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Now, friends, the life of Joseph. Remember, we shared about Joseph, and we defined the name Joseph as God, Jehovah shall add, that Jehovah shall increase. And his name means a lot because in his father's family, there are lots of things that were done and done for the people, for the people of Israel themselves, and great things were also happening for the people of Egypt where he was uh, sold. And so Jehovah added very many things. And the lesson, one of the things that actually I pick is referred to in the book of Psalms, chapter 23, verse 5. David knew it and he said it, that you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You have anointed my head with oil and my cup overflows. Now Psalm 23 verse 5 testifies to the fact that God shall never forget his people. And when David said that you anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows and you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies, Joseph brings this out exactly because, remember, he shared his dreams, one, with his brothers, and they hated him. And he also shared with a dream with his parents, and the parents asked so many questions. Why are you sharing this with us? Do you mean to say that your, your mother and your father shall bow down before you? And everyone in the house, there was trouble until it came a time when Joseph was sold away. But as time went on, it is something that I pick with honesty that this young man sold away and eventually he rose ladders from prison to become a prince. And this is the lesson. Psalms 23 verse 5, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. So Joseph leaves us this uh, very, very important lesson. And the reason why we have to continue picking lessons from these biblical heroes of faith. And so that actually, even when something comes your way, it does not derail you. Whatever challenge, whatever frustration, whatever disaster, whatever moment, you need to remain focused. And I know this young man, this Joseph, remained focused in whatever situations that were until he reached the pinnacle of his life when he became the prime minister in the land of Egypt. Now, one thing that actually, one other thing that I want to share with you is ask God, you as a believer, to reveal the, his dreams to you and for you. Yes, are the dreams to you? Are they for you? Now, Joseph had all his share. Now, for you and me, we need to ask God, to reveal his dreams to us and for us. Because everything that Joseph talked about, they came out to fruition, they came to be fulfilled, and they were to him and for him. So we ask God our Father that in this life, we also need to ask him to reveal his dreams to us and for us, so that through us, some other person shall be blessed. I've always said that actually be blessed to bless, be encouraged to encourage, be taught to teach, and Joseph was the man.
And so that's something that I wanted to put across because it's a huge lesson for us. And then one other thing that actually Joseph went through is that actually you also ask God to prepare you for whatever that dream will bring. Now, Joseph dreamt dreams and whatever the dreams brought, Joseph remained uh, uh, ready, Joseph remained uh, comfortable, Joseph remained a man focused on what the dream would bring. Remember, he told them, I see sheaths standing and you has come and kneel before them. And then he saw the sun and the moon. And so whatever those dreams were ready to bring, Joseph was ready to receive it. And so you too, prepare yourself for whatever that dream will bring. But they need to be right dreams, right dreams in the right place at the right time. Because someone, some people dream dreams that are so scary, dreams that are so, I mean, they bring curses and things like that. But this one remained focused on God because okay, these ones were coming from God. And so we shall need also another episode of dream interpretation, but I'm meaning the dreams that were in line with what God desired Joseph to be. And so prepare for whatever that dream will bring. And if the dream is in line with what God desires you to have. And then one other thing, ask God to surround you with the right people. Because sometimes you may be among people that are not right. And so like the family, the brothers call them step brothers to Joseph. You see, they, they did everything that they could to kill the dream of this young man. But what we have to ask God, you and I, is to enable us to surround ourselves with the right people. Which kind of people do you work with? Which, type, which kind of people do you interact with? Which kind of people? Are they encouragers? Are they killers? Are they promoters? Do they uplift you? And so ask God in your fellowship, ask God in your church, ask God wherever you are, even in the family. Because actually even in the family there are some people who will see you progressing and they don't wish you well by academics or wealth, economic, and things like that. So ask God which kind of people they should be around. And God grants the desires of our heart. For Philippians 4, 6, the Bible says, do not be anxious about anything. But in everything, by prayer and supplications, let your desires be made known unto God. Now, what is your desire? Your heart is a desire for this moment is you ask God to surround you with the right people. And we pray that actually God surrounds you with the right people. I do the same, that God will surround me with the right people so that as maybe you share your dream, you share your future, you share your pro pl plans, you share your programs, someone will be an encourager to you. Someone will be a blessing to you. So right people with you, Joseph, Joseph's brothers, yes, they were negative people, but they were also promoting him in that way. Sometimes someone can try to kill your dream when actually someone is giving you away. His brothers did that. They thought that they were trying to kill the dream, and yet they were actually propelling him to the higher heights. And so sometimes it can be negative reaction, negative response. But what, I, but what is it? Will you remain focused? And so it's a huge lesson for you and me, my brother, my sister. And then one other thing that actually you need to learn to ask God is um, to bless you with the spirit of excellence, like Joseph and Daniel, like David, the spirit of excellence. And you need it, and I need it. Church people need it. Younger people need it. Older people need it. The spirit of excellence. And Joseph shows us exactly this. And so my brother, my sister, that as we walk, as we do our journeys, because this is our situation, this is our time. And we ask God to bless us with the spirit of excellence. And Joseph exhibited this very, very, very clearly that wherever he was, whether in prison, whether in Potiphar's house before, whether in the pit where he had been thrown before, whether before his brothers and his parents before, whether before Pharaoh, when he was about to be uplifted, the spirit of excellence. And by the way, having it, even if anybody tries to kill it, nobody will manage because it is God given, it is God appointed, it's God anointed. And so ask God to bless you with the spirit of excellence. That actually you excel, and the excellence comes from the excel, promotion, getting higher and higher. And so my prayer for you and my prayer for myself is, and for everyone that God blesses us with the spirit of excellence, that actually we shall be lifted, that shall go from grace 
from grass to grace, go up from prison to prince, go up from nothing to something, go up from nowhere to somewhere, go up, up, up. The spirit of excellence and Joseph brings it out very clearly. And so my brethren, this is the point that I'm trying to make. When we talk about the life of Joseph, it is actually enormous. It is it has great, great lessons. And one other thing is ask God to give you the spirit, the heart of forgiveness. Remember that actually Joseph was a forgiving man. Is there anyone that has done wrong to you? Is there anyone that has tried to kill your dream? Is there anyone that has frustrated you? Is there anyone that has done anything, anything? Now, in chapter 50 of Genesis verse 19 to 20. Joseph said to his brothers, of course, okay, they had now come down and Joseph had not done everything that it could to save them. Now, Joseph told them, don't be afraid. You intended harm to me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done. Now, that statement was that actually don't, don't, Frustrate yourselves. Don't stress yourselves. You intended it for bad, but God intended it for good. You know, sometimes there are people that want to kill your dreams, but ask God to give you the spirit of forgiveness. And there's somewhere where he says also that actually when they were going back, he had revealed himself to them and things, they saw they would go back quarreling and fighting, but he told them, don't quarrel along the way. Don't fight along the way. So look for peace. And this generation, we need men and women who will forgive. There are some people who will tell you, I forgive you, but they will never forget. They keep following it. I have interacted with people who are in salvation. They call themselves saved. They call themselves even in the area of church leadership. Someone will never forgive another person. But the point we're making is ask God to give you a heart of forgiveness. So my brethren, God remains faithful to his promises. And in the life of Joseph, we find this very, very clearly. And so he keeps keeping, I mean, he keeps his promises and so get encouraged and move on. Keep encouraged and go on. And so finally, the few things that I want to point out very, very quickly, that one, be careful who you share your dreams with. And of course, I have talked about the people that you surround yourself with, and so be careful. You have shared his dreams with the members of the family, but the more he shared the dreams, the more hatred he attained. Now, listen to me. Which kind of people do you, I mean, so ask, this is why you have to ask God to give to surround you with the right people. So actually, when you share your dream, when you share your program, when you share your plans, they'll be able to enable you go up. So be careful who you share your dreams with. Now, another thing is Jesus' is warning that don't cast your pearls before the swine. Don't share your precious things with those who plan to tramp on it. Don't share your plans with, because you need to be wise here, choose wisdom. Joseph, of course, actually did that, but he leaves us lessons, which kind of people that you share with. And so Jesus warns us also, don't share, don't throw your pearls to the pigs or to the swine, for they will trample them and they'll come for you. There are people that you can share your dream with and they try to kill you. They try to, you know, to, to, to malice you. They try to soil you. And, but God will lift you up. And so in this generation, that's what it means. So Joseph telling his dreams to his brothers, causing him trouble, but he remained focused. And then another thing is setbacks can put you in a better position. Setbacks can be, can put you in a better position. At the moment when it is happening, it is dangerous, it is bad, it is frustrating, it is stressing, it is stressing, it is distressing, it makes you anxious. But Joseph's life is showing us that actually God can use those setbacks. Do you have any setbacks in business? How about academics? Maybe in your marriage, maybe in your you know, economic life, whatever it is, may God use those setbacks to bring you back up. And my prayer for you and my, my prayer for everyone. And so be prepared for hard times. They always come, but God uses such uh, occasions sometimes to lift us up. And of course, we are in a very, very tumultuous times, very, very discouraging times, very, very frustrating times. But God is there for us. The God who was there for Joseph, amen, he's there for you. And there are uh, people that come your way whom God has prepared, even if it may take long. Now, Joseph met two people in the prison. One was a cupbearer. 
another one was um was a couple one was a couple bearer and another one was a baker and these people he shared with them and the people who come although the cup bearer forgot joseph when he went back but time came when an opportune time came the dream was shared and joseph rose to the occasion and he found his position in the land of egypt now god knows the future god knows the future it may take long but it will come remain focused remain looking there don't derail yourself either to the left or to the right but remain focused and god will answer you joseph's life teaches us greatly and psalms 5 30, 23 verse 5 the bible says you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies you anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows i pray that god enables you your cup to overflow with goodness and that before your enemies god prepares a table for you and father god in heaven we thank you that joseph lessons are great for us and we pray the lord we position ourselves to tap into his life so that we may be able to move on and enhance your kingdom here on earth but also for our only good while we are still alive in the name of jesus christ our lord amen